Retrofit analysis allows you to better understand the impacts of various factors on the retrofit of an existing building. To take advantage of this feature, you will need the approximate annual electricity and annual natural gas utility cost for a 12-month period. Open your conceptual model. Note that your model of the building to be retrofitted does not need to be very detailed at this stage. However, if working in Revit, you can include any known information about the project, such as building use type, operating schedule, thermal properties of the wall, roof, or window, etc. In many cases, these details are hard to determine, but even using Insight's default setting will still provide you with valuable guidance when considering retrofit features for your project. Follow the basic workflow presented previously by setting the location to One Market Street in San Francisco, creating the energy model, and generating the insight. When the analysis is complete, access the results of the simulation in the Insight interface from any of the three options described in the basic workflow. So either via the Optimize icon, the Analysis Complete email, or directly from the Insight web page. Move the analyzed model to a new Insight collection called Retrofit Project. It is recommended that you update the currency and utility rate as needed before performing the retrofit analysis. To do this, you can click on the setting icon on the right panel. Under currency and utility rate, you can choose the currency from a drop down menu. You can click on the utility rates to open the utility rate dialog window. And in this example, we will use the default currency and utility rates. Click on the model to open the menu of options and click on Retrofit Analysis. This will open the Building Retrofit Analysis dialog window. Enter the 31st of July 2016 at the end date of the annual utility billing period. Note that the end date must be at least six months prior to the current date. This is a requirement from the weather service that provides the actual measured weather data from the time period. Also enter the annual cost for the electricity. In this case, $70,000 for the cost for natural gas and $18,000 for the billing period. Then click on Generate. It can take several minutes for the analysis to begin. The retrofit model will appear as a second model with the banner across the thumbnail view on the model indicating retrofit. By default, the model will have the same name as the original analyzed model. So let's give this model a unique name by clicking on the model menu and choosing rename. In this case, call it retrofit model. Navigate to the model comparison icon on the right hand setting panel. You'll notice on the model comparison chart that the bar on the left, representing the retrofit building, has a white tick on. This new benchmark value is called actual value. It represents the actual cost of the existing building based upon the annual utility building data you enter, as well as the energy consumption of the simulation using the actual weather data for the period you specified. You can mice over the bar to see more detail. You are now ready to edit factors, create scenario, and apply them to the model. We'll follow the same process as described in the Comparing Model and Scenarios video. Comparing the scenario results to the actual value benchmark under the retrofit model will help you understand the impact of various retrofit measures on the building relative to the actual cost of the retrofit building. Click on the original analyzed model to open the page with the factor widget. By scrolling down to the lightning widget, select 0.7 Watt per square foot. Change also the day lightning and occupancy control to day lightning and occupancy control. Notice how the energy cost mean dial changed from red to yellow 
and the energy cost mean has been reduced, indicating we are moving in the right direction toward a higher performing building. Now, navigate back to the top of the page and save this scenario. We'll also rename it Lightning Measure. Note that for the purpose of this video, we previously created a separate scenario with improved window glass of triple low E for all four orientations. Let's compare our two scenarios to each other on this page by clicking on Scenario Compare on the top right hand side. Notice how the lightning measure is more efficient than the window glass measure. Mouse over each bar to see details. Let's navigate back to the inside page and apply the lightning measure scenario to only our original existing building model by clicking on the top right corner to choose it. We will leave the retrofit building model as it is so it can serve as our benchmark for comparison. Click on the Scenario drop-down menu to choose the Lightning Measure scenario. By comparing this Lightning Measure applied to the existing model against the retrofit model, we can quickly understand the benefit of updating the existing building with more efficient Lightning. By hovering on each bar of the model comparison, you can compare the scenario results to the actual value benchmark on the retrofit model. This will help you understand the impacts of various retrofit measures on the building relative to the cost of the retrofit itself.